after today's Wi-Fi battle, I now see why Hearthflame Ogre Pot was banned to Ubers. Welcome, welcome, welcome back, everyone, to another live Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. How the heck are y'all doing today? Listen, man, today we're going to be taking on Nick in an OU Wi-Fi battle with our brand new Ogre Pond team that we did build. If you want to be like my boy Nick, head into the description below and join the Discord for a chance to take me on in a battle. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're going to be shooting for 50 likes on today's video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump over to the team preview. All right, so today we're going to be battling Nick, as you guys can see on your screen, aka Nick Azard, in our nice and powerful Discord. If you guys do want a link to that, there will be a link in the description below. Go check it out. And if Nick has any links, I'll be sure to put them there as well. While you're down there, make sure you guys check out the Pokes page and the rental code for this team, because today we're going to be bringing our Okie Dogie team, which I am super hyped about. So this team actually like corresponds really well, especially with the sun being like Ogre Pond and Walking Wake. And, and honestly, hopefully we can get it to work. So today Nick is going to be bringing a Palafin, a uh, Hisuian Gudra, a Golden Go, an Aria Dose, a King Gambit, and a Dust Noir. So I have not seen Dust Noir yet this generation. So this is going to be a little bit fun. However, I will say if we set up the sun, we have a great time with this team. So the only thing is, is he, I feel like he's going to lead off with that Aria Dose for the Sticky Web, because I feel like Sticky Web is going to come. So you know what? Let's actually just lead with Gliscor, just because Gliscor will be able to have a good fight here. And uh, obviously we can get some Stealth Rocks up here. I don't see too many Defoggers or Rapid Spinners on his team. So I think getting up those rocks will be pretty good for us. And yeah, other than that, if he gets a sticky web up, that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. But we have more Pico, a.k.a. my wife, to get rid of him with the Rapid Spin. So without further ado, let's jump into the Wi-Fi battle. Okay, so Nick is going to lead off with the Ariados like we predicted. Uh, so he's probably, I imagine, going to try to get up some sticky webs here, uh, which is not going to be bad for us. However, I feel like going for a knockoff wouldn't be bad. But you know what? Let's just trade sticky web for stealth rocks. I feel like that's going to be our best play. All right, so we get our stealth rocks up. We do our speed, which is good to know. So I feel like, honestly, I feel like he's going to go for a sticky web here as he does. I figured that was coming. Ariados. Uh, I don't know how useful he could be in this gen, honestly. I don't know. I Like, past gens, he never was. But, for example, there's a lot of Pokemon who got more competitive viability, like um, Torterra and Empoleon and Shiftry. You know what I'm saying? So they gave a little bit of boost, but I don't think they gave Ariados the boost that it needs. So... Now the question is here is what do we, th oh, I accidentally switched out of my game. Okay, well, that's just fun. So um, let's go ahead and see who he could switch into. I will say he has not a lot of things on his team that want to take a knockoff. And I got a feeling that this thing is going to be focused, Sash. So you know what? Let's just go for a knockoff in case he decides to switch out. I don't think he'll have anything on this Ariados that will be able to take us on. So he is going to switch out here. The question is who is he going to switch into? He's going to switch into Dust Wire. Well, Dust Wire does not want to take this big and powerful knockoff, which is actually really good for us. However, he does have Frisk. So obviously he's going to see our Toxic Orb here. Uh, he's probably going to be holding an item, which, wow, I am not going to lie here. This thing is actually super defensive. I forgot about Dust Wire being this defensive. So... The question here is, what does he want to go for? I feel like a Hex is coming, to be honest. I feel like a Hex is kind of the play. Um, however, I cannot really go into more Pico just because I cannot Rapid Spin here. So the question is here is, is what do I want to kind of go for? I could go for an Earthquake and it would be Stab. However, I don't think it's going to do a lot for us. Um... Maybe Okie Dogie, but I really don't want to take a Will-O-Wisp in that case as well. There's not a lot I can really switch into. So you know what? Let's get some Earthquake damage off here. Let's see how much the Earthquake does. Uh, it's going to put it in close range. He is going to Confuse Ray. That's a little bit funny, actually. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty funny. That is actually really funny. I did not expect a Confuse Ray to come. However, we are going to be Poison Heal, so... Um, Honestly, we just need to break this. We just need to break through this confusion right here and honestly hit the earthquake. So come on, Gliscor, please do it for me. Do it for me. Do it for your boy. No, Gliscor, you dingus. All right, so that's fine. He's going to poltergeist here. Uh, however, poltergeist is going to hurt a lot. But I am defensive, so that actually doesn't do anything. So that's actually super good. So poltergeist and confuse Ray. Gliscor. I'm going to give you one more chance. I'm going to give you one more chance to redeem yourself here. I'm going to give you one more chance to redeem yourself here. Gliscor, do it. Let's go. I hear redeeming himself. Look at him. Go. 
So now the best part is now that the, the dust wire is gone, I can easily wrap. Well, actually, no, I can't easily wrap his spin because he does actually, in fact, have. He has a golden goat in the back, so that's actually going to be kind of a nuisance. So, um, he's going to go into Summer here. Summer is going to be the Palafin. Okay, so that's going to be a little bit tricky. That's going to be a little bit tricky. However, I feel like going for a knockoff here would be pretty good. I feel like I can live anything that this thing wants to deliver at this range now. So, you know what? I'm going to go for a knockoff here. He is going to Terrastalize here. The best part about it is, yes, he may be able to hit us with something, but A, we're defensive, and B, he's not the complete form yet. So he is going to go straight Terra Water, which is good because now he can't Terrastalize his King Gambit or anything else that's a threat. So you know what? That's fine, honestly. He's going to go for a Jet Punch here. I don't think this Jet Punch will do as much, and... Uh, it does do a decent amount though. It does do a decent, decent amount. We are gonna snap out of confusion and let's get the knockoff out and boom, there we go. Gonna take off its choice band, which is actually really good because we needed that. So I do in fact think I need this glide score for the, I need the glide score for the, uh, the Gudra and the, the Golden Go. So, well, I guess I don't necessarily need it for the Golden Go, but it would be nice to have for the Golden Go. So I could go blue here. I could go blue. However, that Gudra's in the back there. Um, so you know what? Let's go into Muttley. Let's go into Muttley because it's not going to be a choice bandit anymore. And honestly, we can just we can just get bring in our defensive Pokemon here. Bring in this defensive beast, Okie Dogie, because obviously we built the team around Okie Dogie. And then now uh, we'll be able to eat up whatever this thing wants to go for. Unfortunately, we are going to get caught in the sticky web. But if we get a toxic chain here, that would be really nice. So he's going to jet punch here. Uh, how much is this jet punch going to do? It's not super effective. It's going to do a decent amount of damage. It's going to do a decent amount of damage. However, we are Black Sludge, and that's going to be able to easily put us back into range here. So the good thing is I can start bulk upping. However, I don't have anything to take on. I'm talking I don't have anything to take on the um, the Golden Ghost. So we have to obviously not have a Golden Ghost slash... Uh, what's it called matchup? So you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and drain punch here. I feel like drain punch gonna do a lot of damage Hopefully he doesn't go into the golden go here. That would actually suck flip turn just did a lot of damage Obviously, it's terra boosted um, Please don't go into golden go. Please, don't go into go. please do not go into golden go. Please do not go into golden go I am praying he does not go into golden go. So if he goes into golden go, Aridos, perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. So uh, we're gonna get a big drain punch off here, which is actually fine because I'm cool with that. Uh, actually, that drain punch didn't do anything, actually. That drain punch did not do a dang thing. So uh, that's actually kind of a little bit concerning. It's a little bit concerning. And the worst part about it is this, I don't think I can do anything against this thing. Yeah, I cannot do anything against that thing. So I think the play to go into would be more pico here and the reason why i want to go to more pico is because a i can get a big knockoff a big aura wheel but more importantly i can get a rapid spin off so you know what let's go into more pico here i feel like i can take anything that this thing wants to dish at me uh hopefully if eh, maybe a bug buzz actually i'm not thinking correctly if it's a bug buzz if it's a bug buzz i'm kind of in a little bit of a position he's gonna knock off here that's fine this is gonna knock off our heavy duty boots uh which is uh, i'm 100 cool with i am 100 cool with and the best part is he's gonna switch us up into hangry mode which is great so you know what let's go for a rapid spin here Let's go for a rapid spin here. Uh, we are gonna outspeed, we do hit it, which is perfect, because now we outsped. So now, hopefully we don't die to whatever move this thing wants to go for. He is gonna Toxic Thread here. What does that do? I've never seen the move Toxic Thread. Our speed is gonna fall, and he's gonna poison us. Wow, okay. So that's actually pretty hilarious, but the best part is, is the rapid spin did a lot of damage. So if we can at least get this thing out of here, if we get this thing out of here, we should be okay. So you know what? Uh, the question is, do I go for the knockoff or do I go for the aura wheel here? I think I want to go for the aura wheel just because it's going to be the most amount of damage we can get off. So we are going to outspeed the Aria dose and that thing is gone. And we got this sticky web out of here. Woo! Great. And the best part is our speed's going to raise. So Morpico did his job. Morpico 100% did his job and the stealth box are still around. So you know what? Morpico, maybe a thumbnail spot maybe <laughs> all right at least the ariodos is gone so now we just need to get the golden go out and i think once we get the golden go out i think we have a pretty good matchup against this team because obviously okie dogie can easily take on the uh the gudra he can easily take on the king gambit i think we're looking pretty all right here so he is going to swap into the palafin here now palafin i believe does have actually i think we outspeed this thing 
with an aura wheel. Oh, but however, aura wheel. Actually, let's go for a seed bomb here. Let's go for a seed bomb. He is going to jet punch us here. Unfortunately, I think this jet punch does take us out. So, unfortunately, the jet punch does take us out. Uh, however, however, I'm not crazy worried about it. So, you know what? Uh, let's go into Mariliona. Uh, actually, do we go into Mariliona? Question is, do we go into Mariliona? Because if we go into Mariliona, we can easily get up the sun, which I'm more concerned about. Let's go into Mariliona. The reason why I want to go into Mariliona is just because if we can set up the sun here, if we can set up the sun on top of living a jet punch, hopefully, and we get a solar beam off, we can take this thing out. So you know what? I'm willing to risk the biscuit. I'm willing to bis risk the biscuit. And the worst part is, let's say I lose nine tails here. I can still send in my, I can still send in walking wake. So let's see if this jet punch takes us out. Doesn't take us out. Let's go. Solar beam nine tails coming through. Perfect. Oh, yes. Give it to me. And this should take it out. It should. No. It didn't. Wow. Okay. That's a little bit concerning. That's actually really concerning, actually. Um. Wow. Okay. I think now the play here is to swap into Walking Wake just because I don't think a Jet Punch will do as much damage. And the best part is the sun is still up, so we don't have to we don't have to pop our booster energy. So Ninetales actually did his thing. Ninetales did his thing big time. All right, so we're gonna send a Walking Wake here. We should be able to take this Jet Punch with ease. Yep, we're gonna take the Jet Punch with ease. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That didn't do a single thing to us. Walking Wake out here doing it. All right. Now, now the best part is, honestly, I'm just going to flame. I'm going to flamethrower here just in case he wants to switch into maybe Golden Go. Either switch into Golden Go, maybe Hisui and Gudra. I'm not sure. Either way, I want to get the boost. So he's gonna, we are going to flamethrower here. Perfect. And that does take out the, uh, the Palafin. So, whew. All right, I'm glad to have that thing down because that thing is an absolute monster atrocity and I see why it's in Ubers. All right, so he's going to switch into Gudra. So that's actually, I'm not sure how I necessarily feel about it. How, why do I keep switching out of my game? Okay, so he still has King Gamut in the back, which is fine because we have Gliscor. He has Golden Go in the back and then he has, uh, he has Gudra on the field. So... I don't really have anything with this walking wake here, unfortunately. So let's go into our boy. Let's go into Muttley. Let's go into Muttley here. I think I can take anything that this thing wants to deliver to us. Hopefully. And he might go for a Draco, which actually, I don't know if I can live a Draco. He's in a body press here, so that's actually not going to do anything to us. And the best part is I can easily get a big drain punch off on this thing. Or I could bulk up. However, if he switches into Golden Go, I'm in a little bit of a pickle. That one I'm a little bit in the pickle of. So, let's go for the Drain Punch. Hope he doesn't switch into Golden Go. Because if he switches into Golden Go, that's going to be a bad time for us. However, I can just sack off our Nine Tails here. So, he's going to withdraw Gudra. I got a feeling he's going to go into Golden Go. I got a big feeling he's going to go into Golden Go. There's the Golden Go. Okay. So, Golden Go is going to be a little bit of a problem. Golden Go is going to be a little bit of a problem. However... I'm honestly not worried about it because we can obviously just send in our nine tails here to fodder off. Actually, do I want to send in nine tails to fodder? Mm, no, you actually know what? I'm willing to send in my Oni. I'm willing to send in my Oni. I'm going to send in Odie. I don't think this is going to be a choice scarf golden go. I really don't. If anything, I think it's going to be. I think he's going to make it rain here, which make it rain is not going to do anything to us. Maybe. Actually, let me let me go ahead and rephrase that. Maybe. All right, so we're going to break the mold here. Uh, Shadow Ball is going to come. How much is Shadow Ball doing? Oh, wait a minute. That might be Specs. I think that's Specs. I think that's Specs. All right, well, let's Terrastalize. Let's Terrastalize Ivy Sujil here. He doesn't have anything that wants to take this. And as long as we can get rid of Golden Go here, we can easily send in Okie Dogie to take on the... Uh, the King Gambit and the Gudra. So we're going to get an attack boost here too. And I think we, I'm pretty sure we outspeed because I am adamant, or sorry, I'm not adamant, but I'm jolly max speed. 
So unless he has something that can take us out with a uh, priority, which he doesn't, this Ivy Sujil should take it out. So Ivy Sujil coming through, perfect, love it. Now the only unfortunate part is he could probably send in King Gambit here to hit us with, to probably hit us with a, with a sucker punch. He's gonna send in King Gambit. I got a feeling that was coming. So, uh, how many turns of sun do I have left actually? That's the question, how many turns of sun do I have? I got a feeling he's gonna straight up hit us with, oh my gosh, I don't mean to keep doing that. I, I think I needed to like go back to like my little like joy cons. All right, so, um, what was I doing? What was I doing? Okay, hold on, he has King Gambit. Uh, I think he's gonna sucker punch here. I don't know what I was gonna do there, but you know what, let's Ivy Sujil here. I think he's gonna sucker punch. He did not sucker punch. He did not sucker punch. Wait a minute. I thought he was gonna sucker punch. Is he focus dash? It doesn't matter if he's focus dash. The so Stealth Rocks are there, let's go! Okay, cool, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, calm down, calm down, okay? Because, I meant, oh, that's what I meant. I meant to check the turns of sun, that's what I did, okay. All right, so he's gonna send in the Gujar last, okay. Him not having Sucker Punch on that uh, on that King Gambit really helped us out. So I could go for an Ivy Sujil here. I could also go for a knockoff, which is gonna be effective. Actually, I'm gonna go for Ivy Sujil. It's gonna be stab. I'm at plus one. My attack is high. I feel like this is gonna do a crap ton of damage. Ivy Sujil coming through. One shot the Gudra. All right, and that's gonna be GG to my boy Nick. That was an amazing battle, man. Uh, I definitely had a lot of fun. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like on today's videos. It is greatly appreciated. Make sure to the subscribe button for more content from myself. And last but not least is going to be, what is your favorite mask version of the Ogre Pond? Let me know in the comments room below. My personal favorite is the Hearth Flame one. Let me know your guys in the comments below. If Nick has any links, I'll be sure to put them in the description below. Go check them out and make sure you guys use the Poke Paste and the rental code in the description as well. And without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and start working the next set of Wi-Fi battles. So please, if yourselves, a great morning, night, evening, day, wherever you're at, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.